I feel like the doors behind me are in a different spot every video recently. And I feel like there's a metaphor in there somewhere, but I can't, I can't really place exactly what that is. <laughs> it's there though, somewhere. Also recently, I feel like microphone manufacturers have finally realized that a lot of streamers use dynamic mics, but a lot of USB mics are condenser. And recently there have been a lot more dynamic USB mics released. We had like one in the past, which was like the what, the, the Shure MV7, right? And then a couple scattered around here and there that weren't great, but recently we've had a couple phenomenal ones. Uh, we've got this brand new Deity microphone that I just unboxed here a minute ago and it released yesterday. Didn't do a video on it yesterday because I was saving it for this video that we're doing today. We also have the Razer Siren V2 Pro, which I originally thought was a condenser mic because of the way it's shaped, it's like exactly like a Blue Yeti, but it turns out it's a top address microphone and it's a dynamic microphone. And then my recent favorite, of course, the Beacon mic. All three of these released very recently and all three of these USB dynamic microphones, zero XLR at all. So what I thought I would do is I would take these three microphones, you've heard these two, we've never heard this one before, I've never heard this one before, let's put them up against each other, see how they all sound with no effects, even this one, even though there are effects built into this one, I'm gonna turn off all the effects on this microphone. That was close. Just so we have something to compare it to, we're going to use the Shure SM7B as our control. Now, candidly, this should sound the best. It is double or triple the price of any of these other microphones. Plus, we have to plug it into an interface. And we're going to use the Go XLR Mini, which is a 250-ish dollar interface. So this is not to be a comparison of like, are these better than this microphone? This is just the bar that so many people have heard and understand the sound of. So we're gonna compare this combination, this $650 combination, so you can hear this first and then test it up against these so you can kind of see where the quality level is at. Cool, let's jump right into it. Hey, for those of you coming into this kind of fresh, by the way, maybe new to microphones and want to understand like, what's a dynamic microphone? Generally, there, there are more than two kinds of microphones, but there are two mainstream microphones, right? There's a condenser microphone, like you see with the Elgato Wave that's very popular, or any of the blue microphones. Most USB microphones are condenser microphones, and, and condenser microphones are super sensitive, so it's what you see in all the vocal booths and all the studios, right? Trying to pick up every single detail, every single sound, but it's generally not what you use in a live broadcast setting where you have maybe more sounds around you, whether it's keyboard clicks or mouse clicks, or maybe you're doing a radio talk show and you have other people talking and you're trying to isolate only the person that's right in front of the microphone, that's what dynamic microphones are really good for. They also tend to have that more broadcast signature sound, like that, that thick, low-end talk right into the microphone here versus a condenser mic that is meant to have all those high, wispy details, which is why streamers generally gravitate towards them because it does have that signature sound. So let's set up these four microphones. Let's take a solid listen, one to two sentences for each one. All right, let's first start with the Shure SM7B. It is our control. Let's reset your palette. This is what a standard dynamic mic going into a solid preamp system sounds like. I would say I'm talking at a distance of about eight inches away from the microphone right now. And if I weren't doing this test, I'd most likely be listening to Stream Beats, which is the number one copyright free music for live streamers and YouTube content creators. All right, now we've moved to the Razer Siren V2 Pro. I'm talking about the same distance from the microphone, same volume level as the other microphone. So all the variables should be pretty identical. I was originally gonna tell you the cost of all of them as I announced them, but I kind of want to wait until we go through each one a second time. So you can kind of just guess and not let price influence your opinion on the sound. Okay, this is the Deity V07U. I still haven't heard this microphone yet, so you're actually hearing this before me, but I'll go through after this and take a listen to all the microphones and, and see what I think about it. I'm really interested in how this one's gonna sound. It's got two knobs on it, a headphone knob and a gain knob, and then a headphone jack and a mute knob at the bottom. By the way, something I haven't mentioned about this microphone yet, it's the only USB one that's completely plug and play. There is no software to download for it as 
far as I've found, and it works just straight in both on Mac and PC. So if you're looking for a microphone to work on Mac, this might be a great one for you. And this is the Beacon mic. And now of the four microphones, this is the only one with a built-in processor that is capable of having built-in EQ, compression, noise gate, noise suppression, everything right inside the microphone. But I've turned it all off. I've gone through the entire app. This is the microphone entirely raw. If you haven't hit the like button yet, let me just let you know, it's about 3.15 in the morning, and I'm still filming this. So if you want to do me a huge solid, maybe hit that button. I'm a little tired. That'd be great. And hit the subscribe button while you're down there because you know you want to see more of these. Let's go back through, do all the microphones one more time real quick. This is the Shure SM7B. And here is the Razer Siren one more time. Do you have a favorite microphone yet? If you do, leave it in a comment down below. If you don't, just throw an emoji down there because the engagement on the video helps us out a ton. Thank you for that. So I'll give you one more sentence of me talking to this and you're gonna hear me plug Streambeats one more time because I put the links to Streambeats down in the description below. Take a listen to it, listen to it on your next live stream. We've got 15 or 16 genres all set up for you. Playlists already pre-made on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music. Uh, they're on YouTube if you don't have any of those. And lastly, the Beacon Mic one more time, taking that last chance to tell you that Streambeats is fantastic and you know you wanna use it. All the best streamers use it. You'll be famous if you use it. That's not true. Use it anyway. Oh my gosh, that is incredibly helpful. I need to do that <laughs> in more videos. In fact, what if we did a video where we took like all 10 to 15 of the top most popular USB microphones and did a side-by-side -side test like that? Maybe we should do that video soon. Comment down below if you want me to do that. But three of these microphones sounded really good. You can probably guess which one didn't. I'll give you like five seconds to think about it. Yeah, the Razer Siren sounded awful. That microphone has zero low-end presence and even not a lot of mid-tones. It's all like upper mid, which is like that super nasally area of your voice, which is unfortunate because it's like the, the cheapest one out of the three at $150, but uh, definitely not the microphone I would recommend. The Deity actually really surprised me. I would say out of the box, it was probably my favorite, and it was probably the closest to the SM7B. It didn't quite have like the deep low presence. Well, to be fair, none of the microphones had quite as much low end and that, that thickness of the SM7B, and it felt like it was maybe a tiny bit brighter. So slightly lesser on the low end, slightly more on the high end. The Beacon mic actually really surprised me. I had never taken such a close look at the microphone compared to other microphones before, and it feels like it had the mid-tones already scooped out quite a bit, and those high-end frequencies added, which is what you typically do with a dynamic microphone. They generally have too much of those muddy mids and they're lacking the brightness of the highs. And so you do that and it sounds like it's already in there, which is why in my last video when I used the microphone, I had my standard EQ on the mic, which is scoop out the mid-tones, add quite a bit of highs. And I got a lot of comments on that video saying, this microphone sounds way too processed. I think it's because I was doubling the EQ that was already on there. So that's good to know. I need to fix that on my setup. But if I had to say which one had my favorite raw sound directly out of the box, I'd probably have to say the Deity. Now I would say all three microphones, the Shure SM7B, the Deity, and the Beacon mic, all of them but the Razer Siren are perfectly EQable to get whatever sound you're looking for. They all have a great frequency response, just slightly different embellishments and cuts in certain areas. But if you don't know a ton about microphones, you just want like a solid sound right out of the box and you're also looking for something affordable, the Deity is actually a really awesome choice. So this is what the microphone sounds like if I were to add a little bit of compression and EQ to it. Nothing crazy, I don't wanna go overboard, but just so you can understand, when you add a little bit of color, scoop out some of those muddy mids, add some lows and some highs, give it that nice California smile, this is how you could potentially polish this thing up. But let's talk about the features of all these microphones. I don't know why I brought up the Shure SM7B. It's an XLR microphone. There are no features of this thing. But of the three USB microphones, what do we have to work with here? So what's interesting across these three microphones is that there's like a spectrum of hardware to software features. Let me explain what I mean by that. The feature on the Deity microphone, and I say feature singular because there's basically one defining feature of this microphone, is an analog limiter. A limiter is a device that's meant to hold back the gain if it gets to a certain point. So if you're about to start peaking, for example, on this one, it immediately engages the limiter and is meant to round off and hold back that gain signal so you don't get those crackles and the, you know, when XQC shouts into his microphone, that sound. Is that a bass? 
awesome. I did a test across these three devices, testing out being really loud with them. And the Razer Siren is the only one that doesn't have any kind of limiting feature. So take a listen real quick. Yo, check, check, check. This is a check. We are peaking this microphone. Check, check on the Razer Siren. Check, this is peaking on the microphone. Check, check, one, two, check. Check, check, check. How's it sound when I'm talking really loud? Check, check, check. This is me being extremely loud and peaking the microphone entirely. Now, I haven't actually had the chance to listen to the test myself yet, so you're hearing it before me, but the Razer Siren is the only one without any kind of clip control. The Deity microphone uses that analog limiter, whereas the Beacon microphone uses 32-point float as well as a second lower gain preamp that it can switch to if the first preamp overdrives. So in theory, neither of these two microphones should clip, although when I listen to it, we'll find out if that's true. But this one uses an analog solution, and this one uses a digital solution. So I'm interested to see if they sound different between the two. Now, beyond sound quality, the importance of certain features depends on your use case and what you want. For example, gain and headphone control in a good sounding microphone is all a lot of people want. Now, depending on what you use the microphone for, your features that you need out of your microphone might be totally different from someone else's. For me, the thing that kind of bums me out about the Deity might not matter to you at all, but as a streamer myself, one of the most important things a USB microphone can come with nowadays. Oh, by the way, I just noticed the, uh, the light was off. There we go, that looks nice. But one of the most important things a USB mic can come with for me is mixing software. The ability to be able to separate your microphone volume, your game volume, your music volume, your teammate volume, and be able to mix them separately. For example, both of these microphones come with some kind of mixing software, which was started by the Elgato Wave uh, almost two years ago. And the Elgato Wave right now is only $99, but comes with an entire mixing suite, whereas the DD microphone is $169, and does not. The Razer Siren V2 Pro, man, that name is a mouthful. I did a full review on this microphone about three months back. If you wanna take a look at the software, it comes with its own mixing software, but unfortunately, it's built inside of Razer Synapse, which is the most halfway programmed software I've ever seen. And uh, it was kind of a mess when I last checked it out. I don't know what it looks like today. Maybe they fixed a lot of the problems. Maybe they haven't. And then you have the Beacon mic, which is $280, which is a mouthful compared to 170 and 150. But the reason so is because it not only has all the clip guard and limiting functions the same way the, the Deity does, but it also has an entire suite of software that comes with its own mixer that's very well done. And it comes with a built-in processor that handles EQ, compression, noise gate, noise suppression, and things like a high impedance headphone amplifier, just anything you can put in an audio device is built into this microphone. So why don't you let me know in the comments down below, what features are must haves for you and your needs? Which microphones did you like the sound of the most? Which microphones have the most important features to you? Which one would you pick? Is the price worth the upgrade to something like a microphone like this. I'd love to know your thoughts, and most importantly, I'd love to know your thoughts on the DAD microphone. So if you haven't hit the like button, do so yet. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, happy streaming.